Dr. Shabir, welcome to Let the Quran Speak. Pleasure to be on. One of the things I notice amongst people is that some of them feel so guilty about the sins that they've committed um, that they that they lose the spirit of Ramadan. They, they don't even know how to turn back to God. They don't know what to do, right? They feel so guilty um, in front of God. What's your advice for that individual, Dr. Shabir? Yeah, I would advise them to think of the human situation where, you know, like think of uh, the fact that we have, might have offended somebody, a human, another human being, and then we don't know how to go and say we're sorry. Part of that hesitation is because we, we expect sometimes a, a harsh reaction from the other person. Like if, you know, how dare you and whatever. So, um, so, so we hesitate, right? We don't want to even make matters worse. But uh, the flip side of that is that God is reaching out to us and saying, Ya ibadi alladheena asrafu ala anfusihim, la taknutu mi rahmatillah. Uh, oh, my servants who have uh, wronged themselves, I'm reaching out to you. Don't, don't, don't um, despair of the mercy of God. Inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'a. God forgives all sins. As we now approach uh, the last 10 days of uh, Ramadan, on the n- odd nights of the last 10 uh, uh, nights, uh, we are told to uh, offer a particular prayer, which says, Allahumma innaka afu, tuhibbul afu, fa'afu anni. Uh, oh Allah, you are forgiving. You love to forgive, so forgive me. Now, the idea that God loves to forgive, this is uh, much different than, than the person that we're afraid to approach and say we're sorry to, mm-hmm. um, because we expect perhaps a harsh reaction. Uh, God is not going to give us a hard re- harsh reaction, but rather he's going to embrace us. Uh, it is said in a Hadith Qudsi that when we take one uh, span towards God, God takes two spans. Um, uh, or an arm's length. God comes to us an arm's length. Uh, so God is embracing us. He's not, he's not going to drive us away. Uh, so the sinner has every reason. I mean, we're all sinners. I don't mean somebody else. We, we have every reason uh, to turn back to God and say we're sorry and uh, be determined to uh, you know, turn away from our sinful acts and to follow up with good deeds. And if we've harmed somebody else, uh, we need to, yes, we need to seek the forgiveness of the other person too. We just have to, you know, brace ourselves and, and, and just seek the forgiveness of that person and ask God also to forgive us. So these so are the... What about a person who continues to commit, you know, a, a, bad, a bad deed, right? Even though they know it's bad and they've repented, but they continue to return back to that deed. Yeah, you know, the, the Quran describes God as being a tawab, tawab. So... Uh, Ta'ib would be the one who is returning. Tawab would be the one who is returning again and again. As if, you know, the form of this Arabic word denotes a, a kind of a professional activity, one who does something habitually, almost like at a professional level. So professions would be like this. Najjar would be a carpenter. Mm-hmm. So Joseph, the carpenter, will be Yusuf and Najjar. So uh, this, this, this form where you have the doubling of the, of the middle letter and, and the long A vowel at the end, um, you know, Najjar, you can hear that, right? Uh, so Tawab, uh, so it denotes a kind of a professional activity. So God is like a professional at turning back to, to people. And uh, so he's a Tawab. Also, uh, God is, could be said to be Ghafoor, and we often say he's Ghafoor Rahim, he's forgiving, he's merciful. Ghafoor means forgiving. But Ghafar, we're turning back to that professional form. Hmm. Ghafar means he is like a professional forgiver, like he forgives again and again. God is never tired of forgiving us. So uh, as long as we turn back to God, if a hadith actually puts this nicely, it says that uh, the, the servant commits a sin, turns back to God, uh, repent, and God forgives the person. The person goes back to the sin again and then turns back to God again. And God calls angels to witness saying, look, this servant of mine turns back to me again and again, knowing that I am a forgiving Lord. As long as he turns back to me and not see, uh, ascribing any partners with me, I will forgive him. Hmm. So we should never lose hope in the mercy of God and we should always turn back to God. Of course, we should not play with God in, you know, just deliberately seeking forgiveness one moment, knowing that we're going to go back to the sin the next moment. But if it's something that somebody cannot help because they have an addiction or something like this and they're sincerely trying, uh, reaching out to God and saying, God, please help me. I need your help to overcome this. And I need to turn back to you again and again. Please help me to turn back to you and to turn away from sin. God will help that person and uh, God will forgive that person again and again. All right. Thank you for that, Dr. Spear. You're welcome.
Check it out, everyone, our brand new studio space. It's a work in progress and it's all thanks to your support and love. This Ramadan, help us raise $100,000. This will help us develop the studio further and buy the equipment we need to develop more programs like this one. Visit our website, muslimmediahub.com.